What I loved about this film was it's told in a non-linear order. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit more about why that was the right choice for the story? Well, there are three different stories and Rafe really wanted to explain and get as close to Nuriyev as he possibly could. And he felt that it just as in our minds, we, we remember ourselves as children and we remember ourselves when we're growing up. And he wanted to explain this terrible childhood that Nuriyev had of terrible poverty and then how he learnt as a student to dance at the dance school and then so that when he actually steps onto the stage in Paris and becomes the most famous dancer in the world you're able to flash around and show other bits of his life and you understand where he's come from and what he's been through to get where, to where, where he was, you know. And, and was it interesting for you as well as a, as a, as a, as a writer to, to think about how visually different the, the film could be yeah, as well? I mean, we, we knew the, the visually the film, but you know, it's easy for me. I just write, they dance. That's all I have to do. It's up to Rafe and the designer and the cinematographer to work out how the hell to do it. I mean, I knew which dances came where because I know what Dur Nuriev danced at any time. But, you know, it's one of the best things about being a screenwriter is you can just write, they dance, and then it's up, it's up to Rafe to sort it out, you know. Yeah. Can you tell us the relationship that you have with Rafe? I mean, he's such, a, um, he's such a gifted actor that's all about authenticity, so I imagine the authenticity of the story, a warts and all story, is really important as well. Yes, I mean, you know, he's so thorough about all the detail of everything, and everything has to be exactly right. He even insisted that the scenes in which the little boy is taken into the woods, they had to be Russian woods, not English woods or Serbian woods, and the peop there are people in the film who were really friends of Nuriev's, who are really in the film and he's crazy about authenticity which is a wonderful thing if you're a writer because it's very rewarding well that's it from the uk premiere of the white crow but before we fly off just remember to subscribe so we know we'll catch you next time